to another video on my channel so I'm just about to head out and go to the gym I am planning to do like a full body kind of hit cardio session I just want to head into the gym get nice and sweaty do a quick session and then head back home I don't really have all that much time today to do like a long session so I kind of just want to go get in get out and get on with my day so that's the plan of action for this morning's workout and as you guys would have seen this morning i made myself a mango smoothie which guys that smoothie recipe is honestly a game changer adding the mango cheesecake protein powder makes the smoothie taste so incredible and have so much flavor so i highly recommend um using that recipe if you guys are interested in like up leveling your smoothie recipe you guys will thank me later um but yeah so i'm just gonna head to the gym now this is what i'm wearing to the gym so i'm just wearing this nike sports bra these tights from do you even and then just some nike runners so that's today's fit if you guys are wondering because i know you guys always ask where i get my activewear from so that is what i'm wearing today but let's just head to the gym i'll explain what i'm doing with my workouts and show you guys exactly what i am doing which you guys have been requesting so much you guys want to see like my workout routine um and i am going away in like two days time and i'm hoping fingers crossed when i get back i can film like a week of workouts for you guys because i've been wanting to film that for like the longest of time so you guys can really see how i train in a week um because i honestly honestly do so many different types of like workouts like I literally change it up every single day so I really want to do that video for you guys so you can see truly how I train um and all that kind of stuff so let's head to the gym let's get a sweat on start the morning off right and let's go so I just got to the gym and I just popped myself in this little studio that I can work out to that way I can speak to you guys without having like music and everyone staring at me um so I'm keen to work out in this space I've never been in here unless it's been like a class so Kind of exciting kind of a fun day the workout that i'm doing today i'm actually using an app so usually i always create and plan my own workouts whether it's the night before the morning of or i plan like a week of workouts like on a sunday night or a monday morning or something like that but also in saying that i don't always have time or feel like creating my workouts every single week and every single session so it is good to just sometimes pop on an app and be able to do the session that's already written out for you so the app that i'm using today which i have been using for a lot of my workouts recently especially just like their core workouts after any session that I do I always like to end with core so to mix things up I always like to pick um, one of the core workouts from the 30 day fitness app so this is what the app looks like I'll leave it down in the description box if you guys want to download it but I'll show you guys a workout that I picked today and kind of like what the style of training is like but there's a whole bunch of different workouts that you guys can do that are all at home workouts which is incredible because I know not everyone has time or money to actually go to um, the gym which is so fair enough I know myself when I started my fitness journey I did everything from home I was very intimidated by the gym and I just didn't like the environment now I'm very comfortable in the gym and I love going to the gym so I'm just gonna pop this workout on so I've got my airpods with me I'm going to be doing a full body workout when you open the app it has a whole bunch of workouts that you guys can pick from i'm just going to go through my favorites because i favorited the one that i want to do today um it's called marcel i think and it's 25 minute workout it's a full body session um it's got a whole bunch in there that i know is going to make me sweaty and challenge me so let's pop this on get a quick session in and then get on with the day um, i'll show you guys what type of exercises are in this workout so you guys can see if this is something you are interested in which i'm sure you guys are going to love though because because I honestly love this app so much. It's can't do these very well so they want to do a push-up like the spider-man push-up I'll demonstrate well I'll try so like these so they want like 30 of those and obviously three is very very challenging for me so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out doing as many as I can like that in my one, in my three, it might be ten, um, and then I'm gonna drop down to my knees and do them just like this, just so I can finish the set. Like that. As you guys can 
can see the next exercise is bench dips and because I don't have a chair or a bench in here you guys can use a chair if you guys are at home what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this resistance band and train my triceps with it and get some Pilates training in. Um, considering we're in a Pilates studio, this was set up already. I thought I'd just use this to work my triceps. workout which I think is so important I feel like a lot of people forget to cool down and stretch after a workout and it causes a lot of injuries or really really sore muscles um, which isn't what you want so I really enjoyed that workout if you guys liked the look of that workout like I oh my god that was yeah, like I said before, I will leave the link to download the app down below. It's just called 30 Day Fitness as well. Um, but I highly recommend that app if you guys are wanting to live a more active lifestyle in 2020. You know, that was only a 20 minute workout and I got so sweaty and my legs were shaking. It was such a good workout. So you don't need a lot of time to do these workouts. All of these with no equipment. The only thing was the bench press, which you can so easily just use like a dining chair chair to do them on and a lot of the other ones have like no equipment whatsoever so i think that's so amazing that you can get fit and achieve your goals from home if you guys don't want to go to a gym and if you're a little bit intimidated by that scenery i get you don't worry I just want to say guys like I've been making my bed every single morning and it honestly feels so good I told myself that I was gonna make it a goal to make my bed every single morning before I leave to either go to the gym or to do whatever I'm doing that day um, and I've been going very good so far so it feels amazing to um, come back home to a bed that's already like made and clean also I just wanted to show you guys this crop top that I bought while I was at lunch we just went to cotton on body and I picked up this black crop it's got like a little like split whole thing which is really cute it's a size extra small and if you guys are wondering it was $25 so I think it's really cute just paired with like any tights and it fits so nicely um so I picked up this so I'm just gonna do some journaling I have these beautiful flowers next to me that Cooper surprised me with like a couple of days ago which are so gorgeous I have my water here to keep me hydrated and of course my favorite pen and just my journal for the rest of the day slash night is honestly where did the day go this is what happens when I don't get up first thing in the morning I feel like I'm so like unproductive and didn't get anything done so I woke up at like seven this morning and I was just kind of like laying in bed I was really like um I wouldn't say unmotivated but I've been really under the weather for the past like two weeks so this whole like 
start of the year has just not been all that great for me like i just felt really like flat pretty much since the start of this year which isn't like ideal but i know that i'm going to get out of this kind of like rut and flatness very very soon and i'm going to come out the other end and be like yes i'm ready to go now wait for me 2020 um but yeah so being sick obviously hasn't helped i'm definitely getting a lot better now i go away in two days time which i am so excited about so i'm just trying to like listen to my body and let myself rest so that way i can have a good time when i'm over there i'm going to the wit sundays which is going to be so incredible by the time you're watching this i may already be there which is kind of fun and exciting um but yeah anyway that's sort of like a life update for you guys basically i've just been feeling really under the weather which has led me to feel very like I wouldn't say lazy, but like kind of lazy at the same time because obviously when you're sick, you don't always feel like doing things. So um, I've been doing a lot of bed stuff, <laughs> like basically just watching YouTube and movies. And honestly, I have not been feeling great. I love moving and I love just like doing a lot. I love the feeling of being productive. So honestly, I haven't been feeling all that great. I'm definitely feeling a lot better than I was like last week. So I'm happy to kind of be back on track a little bit. Um, but yeah, but I booked myself in to do a yoga class at 6 p.m. tonight, which I am so excited about. You guys know that I love yoga, but usually when I do yoga, it's like me, myself in my room or just like outside doing like a 15 minute flow or something like that. So I'm really keen um, to get more into yoga and do like an actual 60 minute class because I love them so much. A big goal of mine was to do more yoga this year. Last year I was like in the middle of the year I was mainly doing like Pilates and yoga style training and I loved it. I was thriving. My body loved that style of training so much so I want to try and tap into that a little bit more this year um, and try to do more yoga um, and Pilates when I can. So that is what I'm doing tonight. I'm going to do a yoga class which I'm very excited about. With him. up some Mexican for dinner with what I already had at home so I just made some potato and sweet potatoes in the oven to make them kind of like crispy chips and then I did some um, like vegetarian mints which is by the brand corn and mix that with like onion mushroom some spices capsicum and tomato and then to top it all off I just added some diced tomatoes as well as some coconut yogurt as my sour cream substitute um, and guys I honestly didn't know about the sour cream substitute as a coconut yogurt but guys it is life-changing it literally smells and tastes exactly the same as sour cream I was shocked and so was Cooper. Cooper was like what the heck this tastes incredible so that is what I'm having for din din tonight and I'm very excited